What's up guys, welcome back to another video. I'm so excited to be filming again. It's been a while and I just took a break because I feel like I just haven't taken a YouTube break in a while. Like I'm pretty sure I've just been doing YouTube for five years nonstop and I deserved a break. And so 2020 is just gonna be the year of YouTube breaks. I'm loving it. Um, but today I am here with a book haul. Whenever I do a book haul on my channel, it is to promote books that I was sent. So these are just all the books I was sent and I'm going to have them all down below for you to just be able to add them to your TBR and just know what titles are coming. And there is an exciting title that I got and I am just so excited. Like I need this in my life and it is here in this little box, but I have a couple that I wanna share before I open it. I'm gonna change it up a little bit before I get to the unboxing. I'm going to share with you some of the e-arcs I got as well. I'm gonna have like a separate clip for that though because I'm not gonna film it right now. So insert clip of that, let's get started. Hello and welcome to the ebook version of this video. I'm just gonna go down my net galley and talk about the arcs that I've been approved for so let's just get right into it. First, I have Some Kind of Animal by Maria Roscoe Moore. And this is a thriller. It's being pitched as for fans of Wilder Girls and Sadie. And so this is about two girls who are sisters and they have a secret. Joe's mother disappeared. So a lot of the town is talking about her and thinking that she is just going to run in her mother's footsteps. However, they don't know that Joe's secret actually is, is that she has a twin sister and she lives in the woods and she catches rabbits. And so I can understand why they're saying that this is like Wilder Girls. So if you, I, I mean, I haven't read Wilder Girls, but I think that this sounds really good. I just love, I just love dark thrillers like that. So I'm definitely excited. And this comes out on August 5th. Next is another YA and this is called Home Home by Lisa Allen Agostini. This is about a girl who moves from Trinidad to Canada and she is hospitalized for depression. And that's all I'm really getting from the synopsis, but I love me a good mental health book. I don't read many books set in Canada, so I am excited for this. It comes out on May 26th. Next is an anticipated release, and I'm so excited for this. This is When You Get the Chance by Tom Ryan and Robin Stevenson, and this is about a road trip to Pride, and I am just so excited. And this is another Canadian book because it takes place in Toronto at Toronto Pride, and it does have a lot of other things going on, but my sole purpose for reading it is because it's set at Pride and there's not many books that are set at Pride that are good or that I've enjoyed. So I am so stoked for this one. It comes out on May 5th, so you can read it right before you go to Pride. If you would like to see any ebooks in a reading vlog, definitely let me know. These books are just the same as the physical books that I've got, so I will definitely do a reading vlog for any of the books that are mentioned. Definitely let me know in the comments which one do you would like to see a reading vlog for, and I will deliver. Next are a couple other anticipated releases that I couldn't believe I was actually approved for, but thank you to the publishers for approving me. Next is Unscripted by Nicole Kronzer. If you've seen my most anticipated releases video, I gushed about this because it is about a girl who goes to improv camp and your boy loves, loves a good camp story. And so I am so excited to read this. Um, and yeah, I just think that the premise is super interesting. Um, next is The June Boys by Court Stevens. This is another one I talked about in that video. And this is a thriller. This is about a serial kidnapper and he kidnaps boys from June 1st to June 31st and then gives them back. And that's all I really know about it, but I am so excited for it. I really like Court Stevens' book, Dress Codes for a Small Town, so I'm really excited to see how her writing style changes with a thriller opposed to a contemporary. Next is another anticipated release that I'm so excited that I got approved for, and this is When You Were Everything by Ashley Woldfolk. She wrote one of my favorite mental health and like grief books, and this is called The Beauty That Remains. And so this is her next book, and I'm so excited. This about two girls, Cleo and Layla, and it's basically about their friendship breakup. And 
that's all I really know about it. I don't really know how it's going to go from there. It's also told in Then and Now and I really enjoyed that in her book The Beauty That Remains. So really I'm just excited for it. If you haven't read Ashley Woldfolk yet, I recommend it. I really love her books and I am just so excited to read this one. And the last arc I'm going to talk about is Every Reason We Shouldn't. So this book is all about Olympics and it's so interesting and I'm so excited about it. Um, it comes out on March 3rd so very close. Um, it's coming up but this is about a girl named Olivia whose parents are two famous Olympians and she is practicing to fulfill her dreams of being a figure skater but she gets injured and those dreams end and she's really pissed about it as one would be. So she really has to overcome a lot from that and just trying to live a normal teenage life. She must spend more time at the rink because she meets a boy named Jonah who is also trying to get into the Olympics. So this sounds like it's going to be an Olympic filled book and I'm very excited for it. Um, it comes out on March 3rd if you'd like to pre-order it and that's it. That's it for all of the ebooks. Now back to regularly schedule programming where I unbox the books. <laughs> Bye. So those are all the eARCs that I got and like I said everything will be linked down below but let's get started with the physical arcs that I have and starting with a graphic novel and I was sent this from First Second and this is One Year at Ellesmere by Faith Erin Hicks. She's one of my favorite graphic novel artists and this comes out July 2020 it actually comes out July 7th and I think this is a boarding school book. It is so short and I'm kind of pissed. <laughs> like I hate that this is so short but I think I am gonna do a reading vlog for it. Um, Like I always say in these videos let me know down below which books you would like to see a reading vlog on. Um, Just like what you're most interested in hearing me talk about and I will definitely do one. This is just your typical school book. Um, it is about a girl named Juniper who wins a scholarship to Ellesmere Academy, a boarding school, and she's so excited about it. But Ellesmere is not what she expected and she gets bullied and I think it's just a coming of age story. Now, my favorite part, the box. I am so fucking excited. Let's just get into it. Let's get into it. I am so excited. And I'm going to try not to hurt myself. Like, I know what books are in here because I got an email, but, um, and some are coming too, so look out for another book haul <laughs> coming. Um, but yeah, I actually just love doing these because it's just so much easier for me to talk about the books. And when I'm sent them, I feel like I should tell you guys because that's my, that's the whole purpose of me being sent them is to help with promotion. So if you like any of these books, pre-order them. I will have everything linked down below or just like all of the titles will be down below for you to go and get them. Um, I know my last book haul, everyone was talking about Snapdragon and it's already out. So definitely go and pre-order it. This is your reminder to go and get it. It's out now. Go get it, support the author, and then let me know on Twitter or Instagram, wherever. Let me know how much you loved it. Um, definitely like tag me or something because I love that. I use, I use Instagram a lot, so definitely tag me. Um, okay. I'm so excited. You're, this, ugh. <laughs> I just like destroyed this box. I haven't even picked the book up yet, but I know I'm gonna cry. Please be on the top. Oh my god, I'm sorry. <laughs> I see it. I'm sorry. I'm so excited. You do not understand. Anyway, here's the first book. It is The Dark In Between by Elizabeth Hribb. Here it is. So the first book is The Dark In Between by Elizabeth Hribb. And this is very complicated, kind of. Um, it is about this girl named Casey who has a life-threatening situation where her friend ends up drowning and so since that happened she just can't stop thinking about it. Her friend's soul is trapped and an angel called Red comes to her and so basically it's her mission to basically help save her friend's soul. 
Um, I'm pretty sure that that's what it's telling us. I don't know if I'm doing it justice, but that's what I'm getting from it. It sounds pretty cool. It comes out May 2020 if you're interested, if you like angels and mystery and death. <laughs> Next is All Eyes on Her by L.E. Flynn, and this is about a mystery. I'm pretty sure that this is a thriller. It is about a girl and a boy who go into the woods, and the girl survives, but the boy doesn't. And so the girl is like viral online, or maybe her story comes online. Why do I not know how to read synopsises? I just don't. <laughs> the girl is popular online and so basically this is just you trying to figure out what the story actually is through multiple perspectives. This sounds like a great thriller and I'm very excited for it. It comes out June 2020. Um, it just says June 2020, no specific date. Oh my god, I'm so excited. <laughs> oh my god, here it is. Here it is. <laughs> This is where I start crying. <laughs> like, literally, this is where I start crying. Oh my god. Oh. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna... Oh my... <laughs> oh. Oh my god. I'm so happy right now. I said I was... I said I was going to hug it. I'm so excited. <laughs> okay. Sorry for whatever that was. That was excitement. Um, because this is Cemetery Boys by Aiden Thomas. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so excited for this. I am so excited. Thank you to Macmillan so much, so much for this. If you haven't seen my most anticipated releases video, you are probably like, why are you... <laughs> what? Are you okay? Um, no, I am not. Because this book means so much to me and I haven't even read it yet. I'm just so excited for it. It is about a boy named Yariel and he is Latinx. Um, this is own voices because Aiden is trans and he's also Latina and oh, <laughs> I can't even talk about this because I'm so excited. Like, I don't think anybody understands how fucking excited I am about this. Um, basically, Yariel summoned a ghost and the ghost won't leave him alone and it is a ghost story and it's trans, its own voices, and I am going to read this as soon as I possibly can. So we thank you so much to Macmillan for this. Honestly, I don't think anyone understands how excited I am for this. We love good representation. Oh, oh my god, I'm so excited for this. It comes out June 2020. Definitely pick it up and I will have more to talk about once I read it. And here's the last book. And this is, oh my god, I forgot about this. Six Angry Girls by Adrian Kinsner. She's also one of my favorite authors. And um, I remember the synopsis but I forgot it. So 2020 is the year of like politically charged contemporaries and this one is definitely up there. This I am so excited for because Adrian wrote one of my favorite books which is Dear Rachel Maddow and she's a fellow Pennsylvanian and so I really enjoy her. I just really like her books and so I'm so excited for this one. This is Six Angry Girls. This is about a girl named Raina and basically everything was good until everything just crumbled. She ends up getting voted out by the mock trial team and so her and a bunch of other girls end up creating one that is competition and the synopsis says to smash the patriarchy. So if you're looking for a feminist book and you just want to read more politically charged books, I haven't read this yet um but I recommend Adrian Kinsner anyway. This also has knitting involved and one of my favorite novellas is Knit One Girl Two by Shira Glassman. So I'm excited to read another book about knitting and this comes out also in June 2020. 
I recommend Adrienne Kinsner. I really like her work. Um, Dear Rachel Maddow is also some politically affiliated, um, just because it's Rachel Maddow who, um, does have a political affiliation. And I really liked that book and I'm excited for her new one. So thank you so much to Fierce Reads. This is like part one of my Fierce Reads book haul because I do have some other ones coming. They just haven't arrived yet. And I also have another book coming. There's a lot of review books coming. Um, so everything I mentioned will be linked down below. I hope that this isn't too rambly and I hope you guys enjoy it. If you do, give it a thumbs up. I have a Patreon if you'd like to support me there. Subscribe if you haven't and I will see you guys in the next one. I hope you're all having a great day. Bye.